Hi everyone! Welcome to Crafting with Julia. I'm Julia and I'm so glad you tuned in today. If you enjoy my video, please hit the like button and leave me a comment. I love to get feedback from my viewers. Also, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you can be notified of all my newly released videos. Also, feel free to follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and I invite you to join my Facebook group called Crafting with Julia's Creative Community, where you can be part of my crafting family. All of those links are in the description below this video. Check out my doll toilet paper holder. This is perfect if you're looking for a unique handmade gift to give someone, or just for your own home to decorate your bathroom and add a little humor and a positive mood. First, let me explain the pattern. So I have my muslin fabric and it's doubled. There's two pieces here and I laid it out. So we're gonna start with the body. So you're gonna cut two pieces in muslin fabric. You're going to sew all the way around and you're gonna leave this part open so that we can turn it around and stuff it. That's the body. Then we're going to make uh, the legs. This is for the legs. We're going to make actually four of them. So two times on the right leg and two times on the left leg. And you're going to sew all the way around. Leave this part open to turn it and stuff it. The head, two times. I'm going to sew all the way around and leave this part open here to turn it around and stuff it. And then the arms. We're going to sew all the way around. Leave this part open to stuff it. Same thing with the other arm. So you're gonna cut actually four, so two for each arm. Okay, and that's the um, pattern and the fabric for the body. So here are all my pieces, all stuffed and sewn. The body, the legs, the arms, and the head. So now we're going to attach the legs. So I am using heavy embroidery thread to attach the legs. And you're going to need two buttons for the legs and two buttons for the arms. So what you're going to do is you are going to put the thread through the button. Then you're going to find you're going to come down about an inch. So we're going to put the button right about there. And we're going to put the needle straight through to the other side like that. Okay. Now we're going to put it through here. And we're going to go straight in to the other side. That's why it's important to have a needle long enough to go through to the other side. Okay. Okay, now we're going to take this leg and we're going to put the needle through to this side in the same spot on the on this leg and we're going to put the other button on. Okay, now we're going to go through the hole. We're going to go right close to where we came out. Make sure it goes straight through to the other side. Then we're going to go back through, back to the other side. Back through the other leg. 
and back up to this hole here. Okay, now we're gonna just pull all of our strings together. Okay, now we are going to tighten this. So I'm going to pull these two strings and you wanna pull them really, really tight. Okay, now we're going to tie so you're gonna pull these two tight, and now we're gonna tie a knot. Okay, and then she's able to move around. Now, if you really want, you could glue these two together, but I don't trust the glue. I rather sew it and I, I want her to be able to move her legs around. So we're going to do the same thing for the arms. So I have two smaller buttons for the arms. I am going to do the same exact thing with the arms. The arms are going to be attached right here and you wanna put it a little bit to the front of the shoulder because you want her to be holding the toilet paper roll. So it has to go like that, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing with that side, with the arms. Moving on to the head, we're gonna do the hair now. So I am using brown yarn, and I have this piece of cardboard that I always use as my template. It's four inches this way, and we're gonna go around, we're gonna wrap it around about 30 times. Okay, so now we're going to <clears throat> glue this to the top of the head. 
like that. Now on to the eyes. So I'm going to use two pins just to mark where I want the eyes to go. So I want one here. And one here. Okay, that's where I want her eyes to go. So for the eyes, I'm using black beads. So I'm gonna go in through the back of the head to where I have my pin. Then with my marker, I am going to just make a little nose. And then I'm gonna draw the mouth with this circle template. Flush up the cheeks. And now <clears throat> for the head, I like to sew the head on. You can glue it on, but I prefer to sew it on. It just, um, for me, it just uh, lays better.
Let's talk about the pattern for the clothing. So you're gonna download the pattern, print it out on heavy cardstock. Now for the pants, you're gonna cut two in your fabric that you are, are gonna be using. And you're gonna place this on the fold. So I have my two pieces here placed on the fold and just in the, the fabric. For the shoes, you're going to cut two in your fabric and two in terry cloth for the sole of the shoe because it's one per shoe. And then for the top of the shoe, you're gonna cut one in the fabric, actually two in the fabric, two in terry cloth for per shoe, so one per shoe. And then you're going to either use felt or interfacing uh, for the lining of the shoe because we want it to be a little padded. All right, that's the shoe. Now the cap that she is going to wear on her head, you're gonna cut two in the fabric and two in the terry cloth. For the collar, rope collar, you're going to cut one in the terry cloth and one in your fabric, and you are going to place this part on the fold. So you're actually cutting a big long piece. For the back of the jacket, you're gonna cut one in terry cloth, one in fabric, put this on the fold. Okay, so there's my fabric and my terry cloth. For the front of the jacket, you're gonna cut two in terry cloth, two in fabric. However, you wanna make sure you have a right and a left side. So you're gonna take the pattern, cut it this, uh, draw it this way, and then trace it this way. So I have my fabric and I have my terry cloth which I did the same thing to, right and left. Okay, so that's the pattern. Okay, so my pants are sewn. I made a top hem and a bottom hem on the pants, and I sewed here and here. Did the same for both. So now I'm going to turn one right side out, and I'm gonna put it inside the other pant leg. Make sure it all lines up. And now I am going to sew around the crotch. So make sure these two seams line up all the way to the end. Okay, and now we're going to sew from here all the way around here. Okay, so now that's all sewn. So now when you turn it right side out, you have your pants. Okay, and that's the pants for our little doll. Now this part doesn't matter because this is gonna be on her waist and we'll just glue it to her body uh, when we're done because the jacket's gonna cover it, but that's the pants. Okay, now we're gonna put the little shoe together. It's gonna come out looking like this. So what I did was I took the top of my shoe and you make a sandwich. So you're going to take your fabric right side to right side of the terry cloth, and then you're going to put your padding to the wrong side of the terry cloth, and you're going to make a seam. Then you open it up this way, okay? And that is the top of the shoe. Then you're going to take the sole of the shoe with the terry cloth, wrong side facing the padding, and you're gonna sew all the way around. Now you're gonna put it together. You're gonna to take the terry cloth side, this is the right side of the shoe, you're gonna take this part, and you're gonna put it on the terry cloth facing the terry cloth. Then you're going to take your fabric part, right side facing down, like this. You're gonna make a sandwich. And what you're gonna do is you are going to sew from here, go all the way around to here. You wanna leave this part open because that's how you are going to turn it right side out. And when you turn it right side out, this part will come out 
and the, this will be open and what you're going to do is just you're just going to glue that closed okay and it will turn out like that okay for the cap you're going to sew around here leave this part open same with your fabric part just sew around here leave this part open then what you're going to do is you're going to turn the terry cloth right side out and you're going to tuck it inside your fabric piece so the right sides are facing each other. Okay, then you're going to line up the seams. And you want to sew, make sure your seams line up. And you're going to sew around from here, sew around, leave this part open. And then that's how you're going to turn it right side out. So you're going to sew all the way around and just leave that part open. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my fabric turning tool and we are going to turn it right side out. Now you could either have the cap facing with the fabric side, like that, which is the way I prefer, or you can have it facing with the terry cloth side and make a little cuff, but I prefer it this way. So I am just going to pass the iron on there, and this part here I am just going to glue closed. So I'm just going to stick a little bit of glue in there. And we're going to glue that closed. Okay, and there's one. For the collar, you are going to take your both pieces, right sides together, and you're just going to sew from here around to here and then turn it so that their right sides are out. The jacket, you're going to put the right sides together for the front of the jacket and the back of the jacket, just like I have it here. And now you are going to sew from here to here. Obviously leave the sleeve open. Then you're gonna sew from here to here. And then again on this side, you're going to sew from here to here, leave the sleeve open, sew from here to here. That's for the fabric. And then you're going to do the same exact thing for the terry cloth. Here to here, leave that open, here to here, here to here, leave that open, sew here to here. Okay, now my <clears throat> two pieces of the jacket are both sewn. And I turned the fabric one right side out, and now we're going to attach the collar. So you're going to take your collar with the fabric facing up, and you're going to pin the collar right side to right side. And we're just going to pin that like that. And then you are going to sew that onto the jacket. Okay, let's put our jacket together now. So there's the collar is on. So now we're going to have the right sides facing together. Now, the collar you want to be tucked in. So you want the terry cloth to be facing the terry cloth. Okay, so let's pin that right there. and you want the seams to line up. Let's get our sleeves tucked in. We want the sleeves to be tucked in.
Okay, so now you are going to sew all the way around. You're gonna start here. Sew all the way around through the collar, through this piece here, all the way to this piece here. And you're going to leave this part open so that we can turn it around, okay? So this part remains open and that's how we're gonna turn it right side out. Okay, so just from here, go all the way around to here. Okay, it's all sewn and now let's turn it right side out. Okay, now this part here, we're just gonna glue this closed. And these we're gonna make little cuffs. So we're gonna turn it up. Okay, let's assemble our little doll. So we're gonna put the pants on first. See, now the, the pants are a little too big, but that's okay because the jacket is going to cover that. It's better to be too big than too small, so. We're just going to glue that right up there like that on her body. Okay, so let's just give that a little bit of glue. Okay, let's put our jacket on. I changed my mind. I wanted the terry cloth to face out because the, the pants are the fabric. So I thought it'd be nice contrast to have the terry cloth facing out. So I switched that.
Okay, the shoes we're going to glue on her feet. So we're just gonna put that on. And we're gonna glue the bottom. <clears throat> Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again real soon. Happy crafting.